Anna Maria Chen here for Corporate Profile and today we're here at the Wall Street Research Small Cap Conference at the Penn Club in New York City and I have Michael Barron here. He's the CEO and President of X-Train and he is bringing the party to the Wall Street Research Small Cap Conference. Do you want to tell us about X-Train? Yes, I thank you very much. I do want to tell you about it. Uh, we're bringing the uh, passenger rail service from Los Angeles to Las Vegas on the existing trackage. It's already there. Uh, we have all those entitlements. We're the only one that's going to be running this train. There won't be any other passenger service but us. The um, accommodations are, it's, it's Vegas. Uh, so it's uh, all inclusive food and beverage for $99 each way. That's a pretty good deal. So you can have a great time on the party train and sleep all the way back. Now tell us a little bit more about the accommodations. I mean, this isn't like your regular Amtrak. No, it's not like your regular uh, commuter train. In fact, uh, if you go on our website, which is www.vegasxtrain.com, you can take a look at the pictures of our uh, accommodations. It's a Vegas-style casino look. When you step on board, you're there. We also have an ultra lounge. The ultra lounge is uh, designed for you to go hang out. You can smoke a cigar. You can have a cocktail. It's a great place to hang out. And you're going to be on board with about 650 other people who are equally excited about getting to Vegas as you are. Now, where did this idea come from? Did you find there was a need for a train service from LA to Las Vegas? Yes, there was a study done uh, in 2007 by the Regional Transportation Commission of Southern Nevada. And I was kind of an interested train guy. I used to hop tra uh, freights as a kid, which was crazy, but I did it. So uh, I started reading this study, and they said 12 million people drive this I-15 highway between Southern California and Las Vegas. It's the most dangerous highway in America by far, okay? Um, and the traffic when you're driving from LA to Vegas on Thursday and Friday is six to seven hours. On Sunday when you're coming back, it's worse. And they said if you could have a train run five hours, six hours, somewhere in that time frame, on time and have a Vegas style experience, you could get 30% of those people at 12 million to ride the train. Well, it didn't take me long to figure out and if I had about three to four hundred dollars in ticket price and food and beverage, and 30% of 12 million is four million people times that, that's a billion dollar company. And you know what, I went to work with that. So I, the genesis was from a study done by the uh, County of Las Vegas. And I would imagine this would cut down on drunk drivers? It would definitely cut down on drunk drivers because you can't drive the train. The train drives itself, so no, uh, you can be drunk, but you don't have to drive it. Yes, it does. There's also another component to it, Anna Maria, that is pretty interesting. It's incredibly green. I don't know if you know about this, but um, about a billion tons, tons of CO2 emissions are taken off of the I-15 highway by just riding on our train. Okay, and that's only with a, well, that's only with an eight percent penetration of that. If we ever got to thirty percent, it's, it's even more than that. So it's very green, uh, it's very f gas friendly, and in the age of uh, four dollar plus gas everywhere in the world, this is a lot cheaper than driving, cheaper than flying, and it's a lot more fun. It's the Prius of trains. Yes, it's the Prius of trains. It's a Prius of trains with an attitude, I think. <laughs> Now, how often are these trains going to run? Uh, they're going to start on Thursday and Friday from L.A. to Vegas, round trips, and then Sunday and Monday on the way back. And so it'll start with one train on those four days, all right? And then it'll grow to nine trains on those four days. So that's when most people from Southern California actually come up and go to Las Vegas is on Thursday and Friday and then Sunday and Monday. And Monday's there because a lot of people don't make the Sunday train. <laughs> and we're looking at um, a year that this is going to start? Yes, uh, we're going to begin our trial runs in October of 2013, so about a, less than a year away. And then the inaugural run is uh, scheduled for New Year's Eve on 2013. And I'm not allowed to invite anybody else, I would love to invite you all, but I've already invited about 12,000 people for this train, so I can't do that anymore. Uh, they won't fit. Um, but then regular service will begin January 4th, 2014. Well, awesome. I think you should bring it to New York City and we can replace the subways maybe with X trains. <laughs> I would love to replace the subways with X trains, uh, but I don't think that's going to be in the cards anytime soon. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Michael. It's an awesome company. I'm Anna Maria Chen with CorporateProfile.com. Again, this is Michael Barron. He's the CEO and president of X train. Thank you so much. Enjoy it.